How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. Today I am driving my IS250 over to Kaiju Motorsports. Brian uh, has uh, graciously given me a little bit of his time to run some diagnostics on the car to go over what's wrong and help take a look at everything. So I know what parts to order, what needs to be fixed and get going on that. I know I have went over in a few uh, previous videos but I wanted to refresh and see if there's anything else that's wrong also from just the uh, laziness, I, I guess, uh, procrastination, laziness, everything kind of mixed in together of me not getting this done. Uh, but yeah, I want to get this all taken care of. Uh, the smog on the car is due in about a month, month and a half. So mechanically, I want to get this car sorted out. As previously mentioned before, um, as you can see here on the dash, it's quite the Christmas tree. With that said, I'm aware of a few of the issues, but I want to dig deeper to make sure what my diagnosis before is still correct. So there are a few codes, um, which Brian will tell you when he runs the diagnostic. Either I have a few camshaft position sensors going out, which I'll probably replace all of them uh, from my understanding. You know, when these sensors, there's a series of sensors for these. Uh, one goes, the other ones aren't far behind. So just replace all of them. That's one of the major issues with the car. And the other one would obviously be the transmission. So uh, in previous videos, I said the car only shifts to fourth gear and it gets stuck there. And usually it's a sign that the valve body is jammed and the uh, solenoids are uh, jammed or dead. But I had an interesting thing where I had to unplug the battery the other day. So I, you know, so I had, went ahead and did a full uh, manual reset of the electrical system. Actually, I, I had to unplug it because of the alternator. So now the car shifts all the way to six. Um, it does get stuck every now and again. So it's kind of an interesting uh, thing that it's doing. So, but right, it, it's only done it twice since I reset the battery. I put on almost 400 miles, but right now it's still shifting to six. It does feel like a little bit of a slip, so we're gonna di dive a little deeper today on it. And if you made it this far in the video already, if you haven't, you know, if you haven't, please do me a huge favor, hit that like button and uh, consider subscribing to the channel. We're still doing the thousand subscrib subscriber merch giveaway. All you gotta do is subscribe to the channel, fo follow our socials on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. And once we hit a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna give away some merch to some of you out there. All right, so let me go ahead and get over there and I'll check back in. So here on the freeway, if you look there, it shifts all the way to six gear. If the transmission's still good, then I'd be really happy, but we'll see. Can't wait to get over to Kaiju. On my way over there now, just cruising along. A few inches later. Here we over. Here we are. I'm gonna sneak my way through and park in the back. There's no parking in front. There's Gustavo. Out here in front of the shops, checking out some of the cars that they have. Matt's DRZ. Some of the cars that are parked outside here are long-term projects. They're waiting for parts or the complete engine to come back or any machining work.
One pair of pants later. Hope you've enjoyed the quick shop tour. Caleb just pulled the lettuce in. Gonna get ready to diagnose it in just a second. Brian's getting settled in, so we'll be back in just a moment. Several bad puns later. Brian's a little tied up, so I have Mo. Don't need OBD. <laughs> Sorry for not giving you a heads up. You're like, what? <laughs> All right, so Mo's uh, the most senior, more most experienced person in this place. Anything more on the OE side, he is the go-to guy. He's setting up for the Matco tools Old scanner. School. I'm gonna find out what's wrong with this in detail. Mo's just getting the unit set up and getting it all sorted out. We'll run some scans and see what the codes are. So at Kaiju, they have, you know, pretty fancy tools. My OBD scanner is a little cheap $40 AutoZone one. And the and those little cheap ones usually read codes a lot better than these. Really? But yeah, but you can't go in there and do that. Go line by line. Data and stuff like that. Yeah. So this is nice that it has a Bluetooth setup so he doesn't have to sit there and... Does this car have adaptive cruise control? Not that I know of. Is that your car? 2007. Oh. <laughs> I don't think that existed back then. Two wheel drive. So it has all the data that pulls up. Here we go, a lot of reds. <laughs> That's what I get for buying a 15 year old car. <laughs> so here's some of the notes. I don't know if you can see it. Some of the co fault codes. So Mo was saying there is a couple of different variations of what can be wrong. He's gonna check under the hood to see. Ah, can't get my hand in there. Where the heck? Yeah. There you go. You can see we have the hood up. Uh, Mo doesn't believe the sensors are bad. Uh, we're going to he's going to check some of the continuity on the wiring making sure some of the wiring doesn't get crispy and obviously i still have not put the panels or shields back in but it works out because mo has to go through this anyways he's also going to put it on the lift to take a look underneath to see if there's any wiring that needs to be replaced or anything that's damaged underneath also before he gives his final uh, opinion on things but yeah he's helping out on another car real quick and we'll be right back once he gets it up on the lift So after a lot of uh, tests with a multimeter and uh, Brian using all data to find out the specifics, it's either the sensor or the harness. He's betting it's just the sensor, which is the most common issue, but wanted to dig deeper to make sure. But today, you know, we've uncovered a lot of other small issues with the car that I wasn't aware of because I've never been underneath it. So 
thanks to Mo for uh, taking the time to look into it. So I'm, I have to order this sensor right here, and after that, I'll be good to go. It should be good to go.